So, welcome back to Starfield. So now I'm on this planet of the wolf section. Sector? Oh, this isn't the wolf sector. Where the heck am I? Somewhere around here. I'm here. Wherever this place is. Near you. Near you in the system. I'm here to look for a crashed ship that has an old warbot on it that's been stomping around. I'm going to collect the said warbot and not get myself killed. So, away we go. That's kind of interesting. This is kind of want a battle. Whoa! Hello! That's a siren. You know, I know. Wow, that really doesn't do anything to him. Okay, let's, uh... Let's switch to the shoddy. Shotgun. Okay. There's a scan one out here too. That would be a good idea to run my scanner. Interesting toys. Those are pretty hard. I heard something. I know it. This is going to be one of those, uh... Cowards. Whoa. in here. He's one messed up robot.
place is one just giant. I have to say, out of all the planets I've been on so far, this is the one's the kind of neatest. It's like a giant junkyard of scrapping. Which I guess I could have fast traveled back to my ship at least. Got potatoes. Value can come from those old mechs. In need of materials? Or just here to have a drink and enjoy the views? Ah, so that's where your machine's been. Ran out of juice. Heat leeches, wasn't it? Those little stowaways are everywhere on this rock. Suck the power out of a pen light if you let them. But a micro cell. That's military grade tech. I think we might have one, but I can promise you, it's not going to be cheap. You could probably Frankenstein one together using our fabrication system here, but only if you had some quality schematics. So, I just brace for a little sticker shock. No better selection on the planet. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Here you go. I am here for you. Should you need me. Let's go. Let's see if we can fabricate one. Oh, my nose is just... 12,000 coin. Yeah, that's a, that's a little much. I should have everything. Or 
any good books lately? Anything I can help you with, Captain? Okay, where the heck do I get those? Microsoft Shield, Microsoft Power. Hmm. Looks like I might be buying it. That kind of sucks. I guess I have to go buy it. I'm not hurting for you know the coin, but it's just well, I won't be making that back. Anytime, so I'd make it back pretty fast. I'll go kick a couple pirates over. Summer sausage. Let's see what you got here. Wouldn't have lasted real long here doing what we do without a top notch fabrication system. So long as you've got the specs, it should be able to handle making you a microcell. But finding materials up to the task, you're likely going to be sifting through quite a few mech hulks out there to find what you need. Though, if you think you can actually manage something like that, I'm willing to make you a deal. I'll point you towards the juiciest hot. No, I think I'm should. just gonna. But in return, save us from risk. Stop talking. Okay, let me get you something. Here's what I've got. Alright, I don't feel like screwing around. No. Uh... All right. I like that. Spots for your death. Plowed right into the freaking ground pretty quick. It's crazy.
just alone. We'll have to wait. I cannot leave my mission. Although, previous attempts to disarm the weapon have been unsuccessful. Additional support may allow me to complete my active mission more quickly, allowing me to leave this place. Huh. Excellent. We must disarm Unit XW-99. Designation, Siren. Nearest final Xeno weapon. Are you ready to proceed to the mission site? Follow me. Wow. He's uh, pretty quick on his feet for a... Weapons because this is going to be in a distance fight. Gonna be a Where's this little Billy going? He's running around like a nut. We're gonna have to exterminate the whole planet. the big thing. I am detecting Unit 99, but there is a complication. Unit 99 is on the other side of that reach, but it appears to be under the control of hostile forces. Sensors suggest Ecliptic, a mercenary company like Ecliptic, would only want Unit 99 to utilize it as a weapon. This means Unit 99 must be disarmed immediately. Standard procedure would be a frontal assault on the outpost. No quarter given. Do you concur? Simple and straightforward. A good choice. Moving out. Go.
Got anything good? Ooh. Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pocket. That's a big one. Oh, well, it's kind of a waste. Wow. Good in here. That there's a bottom section too, right? Yeah. There's a dead guy. You're living in here. I have to see this. He, if he, how does he fit? He's huge. There's no way he. That is one of the cooler things added to the ship. we go.
I can't believe it. Major Sanon, Dr. Walker. You're in better shape than I expected, guys. Shouldn't take as long to get you back up to full fighting capacity. This is good to hear. I was told there was a new threat on the horizon. I wish to learn more. Percival will give you the full story. Plus, get you dressed for the occasion. Occasion? Where are we going? Londinian. Londinian, <laughs> Doctor. I will require additional armaments. That's the plan. Come on. Captain, you're with me. Time to walk you through what we came up with. So the problem we're up against is vast. Terramorphs, they can be anywhere. Meaning us finding and disposing of them ourselves isn't an option. But what if we could let something else do the work for us? Come on, I'll walk you through what we're thinking. You remember that creature we talked about before you went to Nera? The thing that eats Terramorphs, the Asilis? Apparently, they were bloodhounds for Terramorphs. But when the UC ran low on synthetic foods during the Colony War, the Asilis were chosen to fill in the gaps. We thought they were harvested to extinction. But in the data, the research team found the location of a few remaining specimens. As you can see, what we're proposing is bringing them back. We'd breed populations of them, distribute them to human worlds, and then let nature take its course, using a method that thousands of years of adaptation have already perfected. We could speed up their breeding process using, well, using some of the same technologies that were used to create me. We even think that with some time and investigation, we could use the Asili's hunting skills to track down the Terramorph transmission method at long last. Find out how humanity spread them and put an end to the Terramorph problem definitively. I really think it could. Now, there is another option for removing the Terramorphs from our worlds. It's faster, maybe even more efficient, but riskier. A microbe. Something we could aerosolize, let spread, and have it clean up anything with Terramorph DNA for us, which would include morphs, and we expect, their transmission method. It'd still take time to build, test, and distribute, but no other method could hold a candle to it when it comes to sheer efficiency. Not even the Asilis. They are quite handsome creatures, almost serpentine, even. Uh, always thought they looked a little more avian myself, but they put the Giant. Terramorphs to shame when it Armor comes to charm. Parrots. With either path, though, we're looking at a long-term commitment. Years of work. Even just getting these plans off the ground is going to take time. And all routes are going to require some highly specific materials to make things work. Terramorph cell lines we can breed quickly and consistently to test on. Asili's gene samples we can use to rebuild their bloodlines. Or sharpen our microbes' tracking skills. Not the sort of things any labs just got lying around. But we think we found a lead. One place in the known galaxy where we know we should be able to find all the materials we need. All paths lead to Londinian. It was the central hub for Asili's processing during the Colony War. But, and this part's exciting, the Terramorph data suggests Asili's were first found there. The planet it's on, Toleman II, was their homeworld. Meaning, there's a very good chance their prey, the Terramorphs, came from that same world. Which would also explain why no one ever suspected that planet as the Terramorph source world. The Asili's were too damn effective at cleaning them up. Additionally, it explains why once the Asili's were gone, the outbreak there was so catastrophic. Londinian could very well be where the Terramorph saga began. And the key to its end. 
<laughs> it's certainly not encouraged, but the UC's given their sign-off for this excursion. This trip is all above board. Exactly what I was hoping to hear. Now, the UC has a small operating base on Londinian's outskirts. We're cleared for access, but we'll need to check in with the base commander, Sarah Hatoum, when we touch down. I'm gonna help Percival and Kaiser prep, but once that's done, we'll rendezvous with you there. But you need to know, Londinian, it belongs to the Terramorphs. They'll have anti-Xeno gear for us at the base, but I'd make sure you've got your favorite arms on hand. All right. Looks like we're going to Londinian. <clears throat> so I'm going to stop here. Because it's already been 30 minutes. And... That is a huge armored parrot. <laughs> I have to say. Out of all the animals they've made, <laughs> that one is the coolest looking. It's a red color. Reindeer meets a parrot. Thing is neat. The big sweetie is what he is. Looks like he's got all the skills and stuff to kill. Jesus. That is all armor plating. Anyways, that's it for now. Um, we'll catch you in the next one. Like, subscribe if you like. Comment if you find something you liked or something you didn't like. So that way I can improve. Catch you in the next one.